Hi, everyone. Aaron here for Zolotech, and iOS 18 is just under two weeks away from being shown for the very first time. Apple has already shown us what accessibility features to expect with different things on May 15th, such as eye tracking for iPad and iPhone, music haptics to feel your music, and other things such as vocal shortcuts, CarPlay updates, and much more. However, there's much more to be shown as recent leaks have come out about AI upgrades to Siri and iOS in general. iOS 18 is still expected to be one of the largest updates ever, and the accessibility and AI features are just a few of the overall expected updates. We've heard a few others, such as placing apps wherever you want, grouping them, and different color options, and much more. With AI, though, Apple Insider recently leaked a bunch of upcoming features, and the first one has to do with Siri. Siri is long needed an upgrade, to sort of enhance what it can do, and I think this should be much better than what we had before, but we'll have to wait and see. The first feature is called Catch Up, or something along those lines where you would be able to ask Siri to bring you up to date with the latest notifications, news, or other things you follow. So if you just got a bunch of notifications, whether it's from YouTube, X, Twitter, maybe messages, Safari, or even news, it could give you sort of a summary of all that information. Apple will also utilize on-device large language models to help it greatly improve its overall responses with natural language. Since the information will be on-device, Siri will be able to use information from things such as your location that you have in the upper left here, letting you know it's using it, calendar events, people, or other information on-device, and give a relevant response based on the information. Of course, given that this is Apple, I fully expect them to allow us to customize this with privacy and security, where we'll be able to change what we want want to allow, whether that's location services and more. So if you want to utilize these, of course, you could limit access overall, but that should be able to give you better responses based on the information you have on your phone. And the AI enhanced Siri should also have a more natural voice with its responses as well. Apple worked really hard in the past, to sort of update this, and it sounds pretty good now. So if we ask it what the weather is, what's the weather today? Expect some clear skies today. So it sounds pretty good, fairly natural, but it definitely could get better as we've heard from things such as Google's Gemini and ChatGPT from OpenAI. Now, other things that could go along with catch up or that's similar to it is summarization. Siri will be able to summarize information, maybe within Safari notes and voice memos, and also transcribe audio. So just like if you go into a web page today and it has the option, you can go to your options and say, listen to the page and it will read back that audio. It would be more natural and sort of give you more information or even be able to summarize it. So you don't have to actually listen to the entire thing. So those sorts of things we're seeing already in integrated into things such as the Arc Search app. I've shown this before, and you'll see here, Arc Search can sort of summarize things on apple.com and sort of just browse for you or just go there and give you more information about it. So if you wanted to go here and maybe see the summary I showed of iPhone 15 Pro Max, it will give you different information about that. But that's something that I think will be integrated directly into Safari and Siri and be able to give you that summarization of everything. In a new report by Mark Gurman, Siri is gaining more functionality than originally expected. Siri can currently open apps such as open the app store, and it will open up an application. But with iOS 18, Siri will be able to handle tasks within those apps themselves, such as be able to open individual documents or even move a note to another folder. You'll also be able to send or delete email as well as email a web link all using Siri. Siri will also integrate with Apple News to let you open a specific publication and much more. And within news, if you go into News Plus and you subscribe maybe to Macworld or Consumer Reports or Motor Trend, you'll be able to go directly into that specific publication and there'll be more functionality. Additionally, Siri and iOS 18 will have the ability to understand multiple Siri requests at once. However, this feature and some of the others won't be with the initial launch of iOS 18 first. Maybe we'll see it into 2025 with iOS 18.4 or 18.5, but we do expect many of these features to actually be added with iOS 18. Another thing we're hearing that's coming later in the year is something called cross 
device control. It's a little bit unexpected, but it would allow you to maybe use Siri or your device, such as your Apple Watch, and maybe tell it to play music on your iPhone or play music on a nearby HomePod, Apple TV, Mac, or iPad. So you'd be able to cross control different devices from different devices. So maybe you want to control it from an iPad, you'd be able to do that. So that's something that makes sense. Seems like it's a natural fit for Apple's ecosystem. Now photos is supposed to benefit from AI as well. Using on device AI processing, a new photo editing feature is said to be able to allow you to edit photos. So if we wanted to edit the wallpaper from today, of course, linked in the description, if we wanted to edit this, maybe we could remove an object or maybe a color from the background. Maybe we wanted to remove yellow and replace it with blue. We may have those options, but similar to what Google does already, we could remove an object from a background that we don't want to interfere in our photo. Maybe there's power lines or a car there that you don't want there. You'd be able to just sort of highlight it and it would remove it. Apple is supposedly going to call this feature cleanup according to Apple Insider. This same technology will also supposedly be able to generate images similar to other AI platforms such as Dolly or others and allow you to create an image and somehow send it through iMessage with different extensions. So maybe you want to generate an image of a wallpaper. You'd be able to maybe do that directly on device, similar to what you can do with Google pixel right now, where you can generate a wallpaper, but maybe with additional features to allow you to customize it even more. Apple's notes app is said to benefit greatly from AI this time around. And if we go into notes, one of the things you'll be able to do apparently is summarize your notes. So maybe you took a long note, about maybe a class you're sitting in and you just want it to be summarized so you can go back over it and study it, it would be able to do that. Not just in notes, but just like Safari as well. And also you could take a voice note directly within notes and then have it transcribed back to you and show directly on the page. And then again, summarize that information that seems super helpful. And it would be great for students if you're in a class or maybe just a place where you regularly have to take notes at work or something else that would be super helpful. And I can't wait if they're going to implement that to see that on the device. Notes is also said to integrate something called math notes. This will allow the app to recognize mathematical equations within text and then offer a solution. You'd also be able to maybe graph that information or offer the full solution to whatever mathematical equation you have. So that could be again, super helpful for students. The keyboard may also gain a similar upgrade where it could predict mathematical expressions. So maybe you're typing one plus one and it could do equals and the answer something along those lines. So that would be really helpful. Again, it looks like Apple's really focusing notes on maybe student productivity. So that's something I would love to see. When it comes to smart replies, Apple is also working better on its predictive text with the overall keyboard. So we have some of that in messages where you're replying to someone and it sort of fills in the rest. The overall replies sometimes are great. Other times, not so much. And the autocorrect is really not very good at this point either. So to see that sort of upgraded. So if you're typing and maybe you're just looking for Apple iPhone, it could complete that sentence, complete what you're looking for, or just respond in general. Now a chatbot is not something that's expected right away with iOS 18 chatbots like chat GPT, or again, Google Gemini, those are not necessarily expected, but we do know Apple is working with open AI possibly to implement something like that. While many of the AI features in iOS 18 will be on device. Some will ultimately need more power or information to generate those responses. Apple apparently has M2 data centers that will be responsible for helping with this. Privacy, of course, should be a focus, and I'm sure Apple will go over how they're going to do that and sort of keep everything anonymous and private on your device. However, I would expect some sort of explanation from them. So those are the AI things we can expect with iOS 18. Of course, I'm really hoping for a few different things. Many of you want split view, maybe a redesign. That's something I would like to see with more depth or neomorphism. Maybe just the icons from the Mac alone would make this much nicer and just some consistency across the OS where things are a little easier to find maybe within settings and other places. So better controls here, maybe better controls or viewing and battery, battery health and information for all the iPhones. All of those things would be welcome. But again, this is just the AI features. I would expect much more in just a couple weeks. And for those of you unfamiliar, of course, on June 10th, we'll see iOS 18 beta one, usually after the overall keynote. And that keynote takes place at 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. And you can see all that information on apple.com. If you just go to apple.com, they've now updated it. So if we go to Apple again, we'll go to Apple, not the newsroom. 
And then if you scroll down, you'll see WWDC 2024. You'll be able to watch it directly on the iPhone, iPad, probably YouTube, maybe even TikTok and other places as well. But either way, you can watch the keynote here and add it to your calendar. So that hopefully will give you an idea of what we can expect for AI so far. I would expect Apple to have some sort of surprise, of course, and maybe some things we just didn't expect. But all of those things seem fairly exciting as far as being able to use AI on device without any sort of remote or third party implementation. I think that's a great idea. Let me know what you think of these features in the comments below and what you would like to see Apple implement with AI directly on device. Or maybe you want to turn these features off altogether. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, as I mentioned earlier, it will be linked in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.